please rise for a brief moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, New Brighton. Today is Wednesday, October 11th. There is an anime club meeting after school today in Ms. Bruno's room. Attention all students. Back by popular demand is our Powder Puff football game. Sign-ups during lunch period start today. The cost is $2 to participate. We need all grade levels to make this event happen. The last day to sign up is October 16th. Game day will be November 22nd. Don't miss out on a fun morning before our early dismissal. If you are interested in participating in Trunk or Treat this year, please stop by Mr. Tabay's room to sign up and get additional information. There is a sophomore class meeting on October 16th during her room regarding class room. There is a senior class meeting on October 18th during her room regarding cap and gowns. Class room cap and gown orders are due on Thursday, October 23rd. This is the only in-school order day. You can order during all lunches at the table by the North Commons across from the elevators. Cap and gowns cost $30.74, including tax. Check and money orders only accepted made to Jostens. Orders can be given to Ms. Gentile in advance. Attention senior girls, applications for the New Brighton Civics Women's Club Outstanding Senior Girl are now available in the guidance office. Completed applications must be turned into the guidance office and are due by the end of the day on October 30th. Our two trials will take place on Saturday, October 21st from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m in the high school central gymnasium. Students, if you are driving to school, please make sure you have a parking permit. These are mandatory and can be purchased for $10 in the guidance office. Parking permit applications are also available in the guidance office. The below list of colleges will be coming to our school to meet with you. Students in grade 9 through 12 are welcome to sign up. However, this visit only counts for freshmen and sophomores for their career portfolio. If you are interested, you can sign up in the guidance office. Now on to sports. Good luck to the cross country team at the MAC meet today. Weather for today is mostly sunny, with a 10% chance of precipitation, a high of 64, and a low of 52. Now back to the news. Happy birthday to Nevaeh Gilmore. Lunch for today will be grilled cheese, tomato soup, green beans, chef salad, chicken sandwich, Italian hoagie, and pizza. Menu subject to change. Have a great day, New Brighton. This is your weekly New Brighton sports review. The volleyball team won against Stowe Rocks 3-0 with scores of 25-9, 25-7, and 25-15. Thanks to Astrid Grace who led the team in, on aces and assists, and thanks to Emma Ackerman in kills. NB Cross Country Boys defeated Rochester, Lincoln Park, and Freedom on Tuesday to bring their season record 6-4. The boys were led by Captain Hunter Bailey. The girls team, led by Kate Nicholson, defeated Freedom in Lincoln Park, but were defeated by Shenango. The ladies are now 4-6 to six on the season. The volleyball team won against Freedom with scores of 25-14, to 25-12, to and 25-18. to 18. Thanks to Sunday Fazio, who led the team in aces and assists, Alea McKenzie in digs, and Jenna Allickson in kills. The hockey team beat Carrick 7-3 in their first game of the season. The, volleyball t the football team lost to Elwood 40-62 last Friday. The Lions were led on the ground by Brian Taylor, who carried the ball 15 times for 72 yards. He scored one rushing touchdown along with Nizer Humphrey and Mike Vion. In the air, Vion hauled in three touchdowns from Taylor who finished the evening with 297 passing yards, making Brian the top passer in WPIAL this week. Vion finished with 244 yards receiving, which also led the WPIAL this week. Have a nice day.